The school, situated at Rundus to Manene informal settlement, was started by community members five years ago. Acting head of department, Marcellus Haivera, says more than 1,000 learners have been enrolled. Haivera says there are many learners still looking for school placement. The school's management, he says, has considered registering at least 60 learners per classroom, despite how difficult this becomes to manage. Look, the thing is very hot when it comes to, to, to the weather. <laughs> when it is windy, it is just, you know, uh, floating all over. So uh, one thing is that the tent is very small. It is not like a structure. So having more than 50 learners in a tent is just unbearable. You, you cannot move around to, to, you know, to, 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 to at least meet all the learners' needs. You can't. When our news team visited the school, parents were still queuing up desperate to have their children admitted. Ibera says the school community was excited when Kabango East Governor Bonfatus Wakutumo announced that $20 million had been set aside for the construction of 12 classrooms. Let the relevant authorities live up to their mandate and what they said. Because that is what the learners and the community uh, you know, waiting for. We were anticipating for more when we came back. So we are appealing to the relevant authorities to do what they're supposed to do. Um, they must contract somebody to start the constructions. But the money is there. That's what they said. Wakudomo made the announcement at the donation of school furniture by Prime Minister Sarah Kuangelo Amadila in November last year. Contacted for comment, Governor Wakudomo says the regional council will advertise the tender for the construction of those classrooms this week. Wakudumo noted that delays were caused by the preparation of the tender documents, which has since been finalized. Chris Kupolo, NBC News, Rundu.